trials to triumph, where we embrace hope even in trials, changing lives one struggle at a time. Today I want us to focus for just a few minutes on what it is like to encourage others. You know, when we take time out of our busy, crazy lives to just uplift and encourage another person, we overall can make the world a better place. It helps others, it helps us develop better and closer relationships with people, and as we've talked before, it can be a great distraction away from our own difficulty. I want to start by reading for you a very short quote by Albert Schweitzer. In everyone's life, at some time, our inner fire goes out. It is then burst into flame by an encounter with another human being. We should all be thankful for those people who rekindle the inner spirit. Can you imagine having your inner spirit rekindled by someone who takes just a few moments to encourage you? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So when we think about how we can encourage others, it really can be quite simple. Just by making positive comments to someone or complimenting them on something they've done or what they look like that day. Sometimes it's just the small gestures of opening the door, waving to someone, or even just a simple smile. Even more recently, you may have heard of people paying for the car behind them in the drive through line at Starbucks. Little things like that can make such a difference for others, even strangers. But when we think about people that we might know personally, maybe we send them a note. Maybe we offer a prayer. Maybe we bring them their favorite beverage or a candy bar from the vending machine at work. Helping them rediscover that they are valued. And perhaps if you have a friend who's recovering from a surgery or an illness, whether it's a new mom or someone who's had a death in the family, we often tell them that we'll help out if there's anything they need to give us a call. But in all reality, that's one of the worst things we can do. It's better for us to just offer and step right in, bringing over a meal, coming and doing laundry, letting them do the things that they need to do while we help out at their house. Remember that the way we treat one another on our everyday basis is what can help us rebuild this world and the relationships we have within it. I want to read for you two scriptures that really point us to how we are to be as human beings in this world. First from Ephesians chapter 4. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up, according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen. And then from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Encourage one another and build each other up. Once and again, Scripture tells us to build each other up, having positive things come from our mouth and having our actions be that which is positive. If we think about it, by doing positive things, we're only going to create more positive things. As we give people comments and compliments, we're only going to help them feel better about themselves. So think for yourself, how is it that you can make the difference in the life of someone in your home, your neighborhood, or even your office during this week? Ponder it and make a plan of action of one thing you're going to do to really make someone's day and help them to know that they are valued. When we take time to encourage others, it builds them up. It also allows other people to hear what we're saying about someone else in a positive manner so that those who listen and those who hear can be built up. And keep in mind, too, that when we build each other up, ultimately we're honoring God by doing what he has asked us to do, by treating each other well 
and speaking good of one another. Before we head off today, I want to just give you two additional ways in which you can encourage other people. First, show interest in them. Show interest in what they're doing, what they like, or something you might have noticed different in them. Ask them questions about themselves or their family. Get to know them. Show that you want to know more about them and perhaps their hobby or their interest. By doing so, you also show value. And lastly, thank them. When they've done something great, when they've done something that makes a difference in your life or the life of someone else and you take notice, thank them for what they've done. They will know deep inside that they are valued, that they are important, and that this relationship is being built up, not torn down. I want to close today with a quote from the late Maya Angelou, a writer, an activist, a woman who has taught us much about being humans in this world. I learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. My friends, today you have a choice. Let's together build up one another, not only so that we can show honor and glory to God, but so that we can make this world a better place by encouraging and building up one another. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to leave comments below. And for more thoughts, stories, and words of encouragement, I invite you to go to my Facebook page, where we truly focus on embracing hope even in trials, where we're changing lives one struggle at a time. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.